Hey, hey, everybody. Yes, it's seven o'clock on a Friday night. You know what we be? Welcome to the show, baby. It's good to have you here. Yeah, it's Sugar Pearl Studio Kitchen Live. Welcome to my kitchen. This is where the magic happens. <laughs> the website is sugarpearlsonline.com. YouTube, my YouTube channel. I'm going to pause so you can get ready, okay? Because I need for you to go and subscribe. The YouTube channel is Sugar Pearls. And that is simply spelled S-U-G-A-R-P-E-A-R-L apostrophe S. The sugar and pearls are together. All right. And Instagram is sugar pearls underscore online. How are you? How are you after a crazy week? Okay. So I'm on my phone because, hey, everybody. Hey, mom and dad. <laughs> hey, sisters, brothers, everyone. Thanks for being here. Um, so I'm on my phone because I am going to a march. Yeah, in Alabama. When? Tonight. Okay, so Project Say Something. Y'all know <laughs> I have a special place in my heart for Project Say Something and Camille Goldston Bennett, all the team there at Project Say Something. Um, they are marching tonight, scheduled for 7 o'clock. So keep watching the page. Um, on Facebook is Project Say Something. The website is also projectsaysomething.org. Okay, now I know. It's crazy. How are you promoting something going on at 7 o'clock when you got a show at 7 o'clock? Because that is very important work. Vitally important work. Okay? I ain't out there marching, um, but I want to show my support for, for my brothers and sisters out there who are. Okay? So um, I'm tuned in here so that when it starts, I can plug in, which leads me to my next point. Okay. Hey, boo. Hey. So uh, quick, short recipe tonight, because I'm going to go to the march. Um, and I'm going to tell you what we're doing. Okay. So <laughs> jackfruit fritters tonight. Yes, yes, I know, I know. So I had um, jackfruit waiting here for a while. And, and let me tell you, okay, you're like, Carla, you said this is going to be a quick and easy show, but you talking about doing jackfruit. Well, honey, let me, let me tell you, I went and got a brand new can of jackfruit. <laughs> yes. So what we need to do is straight out the can with this, it is full of water. So we need to really just squeeze it and get all of this water out, which is why I have on one glove. Okay. Um, so come with me over to the, the sink for a minute and and we'll we'll do this. Okay. So again, if you're um tuning in, it's sugar pearls. Hey boo. Oh, these have seeds and everything in them. Okay. So seed that's not edible okay so let's just start squeezing so i'm gonna squeeze 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 make sure i get all the liquid out of the meat and all the seeds i didn't know um that they kept the seeds in it but i guess i mean that's not a problem not for me okay um yeah look at that look at all that water Yes, a lot. So you want to squeeze it all out because you want to get that kind of meaty consistency in it. So just squeeze as much water out as you possibly can. And as you're feeling around um, with your jackfruit, you can, yeah, make sure everything is softened. I wonder if I should cook this a little first i don't i mean you can't eat it raw it's it's a fruit you can't eat it raw you don't have to cook it so yeah once i take the seeds out drain the water i think what i'll do is just get ready to make my fritter okay but back to um project say something okay uh worthy organization 
Uh, if you have not donated yet to Project Say Something, make sure you do. You can go to their website at projectsaysomething.org and you can give there safely on their website. Hey, <laughs> yes, I'm I'm learning to keep this in my pantry. I don't think I will ever cut up another jackfruit. Not on the show anyway. Like that ain't happening. Okay, so I'm gonna check my phone in a little bit to see um, when the March starts. But if you haven't, uh, remember we had Camille Golston Bennett on the show before. Yes. Uh, talking about uh, the work that they are doing. So let me tell you why this March tonight, just like all marches, but um, why this March tonight is especially different and especially important that they are doing. So um, in in the town of Florence, Alabama, and I'm, I'm going to read it um, so I get it right for you. I think Kentucky just did something similar as well as a way of silencing protesters. Um, and basically that's what, um, the city of Florence is attempting to do with this new bill that was introduced. Um, basically if, if you protest peacefully, which they've always done, you know, they, these aren't capital stormers. They, they're not capital stormers. Okay. These are legitimate peaceful protesters. Okay, and it started out. Um, I, well, I don't know if it started out, but um, it one of the premises that it started out on was um, that um, that statue, that Confederate statue that's still there uh, in the town. Well, now it seems like we gotta, you know, raise voices for something else all together and that is a right to just peacefully protest and I don't know I thought that was something that was guaranteed like I don't know why I thought that was just I, I don't know but anyway with this new bill Florence uh, is introducing um, that's what they're saying you can't peacefully protest you can't uh, voice your disdain. And like I said, these are not people that are, you know, running all over the place and, um, you know, building hangman's nooses and things in, <laughs> in the town square. I got lip lipstick on my teeth, I know. Um, these are not those people. Okay? These are not those people um yet these are the people they want to silence so um i want to i want to make sure i'm there so i can be in the number and uh i think mama vicky is going of course she's gonna be there to support her baby um but yeah the team at project say something will be there um, again, if you haven't given to them, then make sure you do. I don't, I don't talk about like giving to organizations and stuff like that on the show. I really don't. Um, but this one, oh, I vouch for this one. I vouch for Project Say Something. Okay. So just give, you know, especially um, with this new bill that they're trying to pass, you know, it, they're going to try to make it virtually impossible for peaceful protesters not to go to jail. So with that comes, you know, you need money for that. You need money to run an organization um, like that. And they're out there doing the work. So I think I got all of this jackfruit meat mashed up. <laughs> mashed. All right, I'm going to sit this here for a second. I got my oil hot. And I really did. And I think we can go ahead and get started. Are you ready to get cooking, good looking? 
Let's go. All right, here we go. So we're going to make a very simple fritter. And I want this um, to be kind of, I want to be able to form it into a little ball and drop them into the fryer. So, oh, before I go on to that, let me check my phone. Honey, I'm serious. I got to. I want to be in the number. Okay, I don't see it yet on the page. See all, see all. Okay. Yeah, so the bill is um, SB152, whatever it's called, child. Um, here we go. It's the Tim Melson for State Senate's bill. Uh, Bill 152 passed through local legislation committee on yesterday. Well, back back when. So this is an anti-protest bill, basically. And it was created just for Florence, Alabama. Um, like I said, to silence peaceful protesters. So you think about this world that we're living in right now. Mm -hmm. How, how, why, why would you deny somebody their voice? But that is not new. Those are old tricks. Those are old tricks, but um, people are still using them. So before we do the jackfruit, we're going to go ahead and get our flour. So I'm not using flour, um, like wheat flour for this. I'm using rice flour. Okay. So I'm going to do... Rice flour tends to be a little lighter, and although these are going to be <laughs> deep fried <laughs> in, in a ball-like shape, I still want it to have some, some lightness to it. So this is a this is two cups of uh, this container here. Hey, baby, thank you. Hi, Tommy. <laughs> hey, Lynn. Hey, Stacy. Oh, my forever roomie. All right, got my flour, okay? Like I said, it's rice flour. Use whatever you want, um, but rice flour just tends to be a little bit lighter for me, okay? So we're going to do that in a second. Um, no, let's do it now. With the rice flour, I feel like I need to put you down so you can do it. I, I propped you up today, and now I don't feel like I like got you too high up there, you know? It's my fault. Just chill. She always doing stuff with this camera. I know. Okay. <laughs> hey. Okay. That's a little better. That's a little better. Hey. Okay. Hey, Jeanette. Ah, oh, that's my cousin. Hi, boo. <laughs> Thanks for being here, y'all, so much. Thank you for sharing the show, y'all. You know, I love doing Sugar Pearl Studio Kitchen Live. I really, really do. And I hope that you love watching me do these recipes in the kitchen and all kind of stuff. But a fritter is um, is something, like I said, it's easy, it's rather quick, and you can make it sweet or savory. So if you wanted to do this with like diced apples, honey, oh, with the diced apples, that would be good, huh? So um, like I said, sweet or savory, but this is going to be savory with our jackfruit meat. All right, so first let's season up our flour. Um, just put it in there. Okay, that was about, where did that line go? Mm. Okay, the flour covered it up. Oh, okay. What's that, CC? Honey, it was a cup. One and three fourths cup is what it was, okay. But that's because I only have 10 ounces of jackfruit, all right. So, one and three fourth cup. If I have to add, I will, but first, I'm gonna make this so I can get it smooth before adding. Um, add a tablespoon of baking powder, I mean, teaspoon, <laughs> a teaspoon of baking powder, okay, a teaspoon of salt. Okay, a teaspoon and a half of garlic, 
for me. I just, I like garlic, honey. So I'm going to season mine. All right. And a uh, tablespoon of Old Bay. Okay. It's got salt. That's why we only used a little bit of salt first. And then we'll add a tablespoon of Old Bay. Now with my fritters, and I pray that this comes out well. Okay. Um, but with my fritters, even pancakes, I like using really cold water. It makes everything so light. It gives, um, for pancakes, it gives you, Lynn, you were talking about that nice crispy edge. That's, it does that. But then it, it just feels a lot lighter. So look, use what liquid you want. I use, when I'm using a flour, ice cold water. All right. So let's add a little first. Rice flour is pretty fine, very fine. So you don't need to like, um, ooh. oh, you don't need to sift it or anything. Oh my, that came together fast. Look at, it already came together that fast. Okay, so it's getting there. Okay, add some more. It smells amazing. Ouch. It does. All those seasonings in it. Oh, yeah. Okay. Mix, mix, mix a little more. Make sure I get all my lumps and everything out. Need a little more water. That rice flour, what I'm noticing is that it really drinks up liquid a lot. Oh, ho, ho, look at that. Okay, and this is what we've got now. So I use that cup of water. What was that, like nine ounces? Okay, so you got something kind of gloopy almost. All right. Good. Okay. We're not done. So we're going to season a little bit more. We're going to add some veggies and some veggies that I have. Um, I had a bell pepper that was about to go bad. So I used a piece of that. I'm going to throw that in there. I got some sweet onions. We're going to throw that and some red onions because I love color. Okay. That on in there. I've got some. So, you know, I made my thyme oil the other day. Mm. It's so good. It's so good. And so it's, it's like pure time that you're drinking. Well, this was time pulp, like the, that are ground up. So the stems, the leaves and all of that, that was used to like make the delicious oil. This is it. Okay. Mm. It smells like you need to put it on meat or something. Um, so I'm only going to use a little bit because it is quite potent um oh gosh but look at that that's that is time pulp i know okay so let's just get about a half a teaspoon put it on in there now of course i like just a touch of heat honey so i'm gonna do a teaspoon of red pepper Okay, and mix, 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 mix it on in. Whoa, whoa, pepper. Yes. Look at that. Look at it. All right, let's add our jackfruit. Jackfruit mashed. And we go now if you want to before you do this you can season your jackfruit ahead of time what i am gonna do to my jackfruit just hit it with a little bit of pink salt um because i, I should have done that outside of the thing but that's all right and mix just fold it on in there oh this is meaty <laughs> hey like Oh, Lord, let's pray they fry up right. Oh, this is, this is pretty. 
Okay. So I've got a hot um, fryer here. This is what we've got. So you see the onions and pepper. Oh gosh, all the colors, they're like flecks of color um, from the seasonings. That's what I like. Before I put it in there, I'm just kind of chopping up some of the meat a little bit more just to so that it's like now marrying into the flour mixture. Okay, so let's just chop, chop, chop. Um, so when I got my jackfruit, because I got it from the Asian store the last time I was there. Sorry, y'all. Um, and I, um, they, you can get it sweet or you can get it in the brine. So I got the one in the brine. If I were doing something sweet, I could, but, um, yeah, it's just a, a sweetened liquid that is canned in. But I didn't want that. I wanted just a regular old jackfruit in the the plain water brine with a little bit of salt they hit it with also. Okay, so let's see about making these chanfredos. Honey. I'm gonna hit it with a little more thyme, honey. That thing is pretty. Thyme pulp. I don't know if it's a thing, but it might be. Okay. All right. It's time to make the jackfruit balls. Here we go. Jackfruit fritter balls. Okay. okay they make perfect balls. The, um, sorry, y'all. The, um, rice flour holds up just like a regular flour. Um, it's not as heavy though. So you don't need as much liquid as you think. Um, but here we have a beautiful, beautiful little jackfruit ball. We're just going to sit it right there. Let it hang out until I get about four or five more in there. I don't want it too crowded. Okay, but I want to do it right. Hey, baby. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. Hi, Sheena. Hey, boo. Oh. Thank you, thank you, thank you for being here. All right, that's two. Oh, these are gonna be good. And this will be a nice snack. Um, that although it's deep fried, um, it's it's not too unhealthy. And I am using rice flour, right? Okay, okay, it's still deep fried. But y'all know, I'm gonna probably eat two of these and then have to find a mission to take them to or something, sure. I'm gonna just do five. One, two, three, four, five. I think that's good, okay? And that way we're not crowding the pot here. All right, let's get it in the oil. Ooh. That sizzle is so satisfying. Come on, you can... I don't have the two cameras set up today, so I gotta take you a little bit. Look at that. <laughs> like you ain't never seen something frying before, child. What she do? I know. I just hope they turn out right. I hope they don't fall apart. That's my thing. That's and that's why I was um kind of I don't buy flour. I don't I try not to even use it if I don't have to. If I need like a slurry or something, I use cornstarch. So this is different for me. And I was really, really afraid. I'm like, oh God, is rice flour going to hold up like flour, like regular flour? And oh my. Honey, that thing look good. Let me wash my hands. Oh, while, while I'm doing that, you could share the show. Yes, right now. Like Tommy and every all my other friends. Just share them. Let folks know we eating good in the hood. Now, one thing I also want you to do, um, 
I, I got to show my business channel some love, honey. Sugar Pearls right here on Facebook. <laughs> yes. Go to Sugar Pearls. S-U-G-A-R-P-E-A-R-L apostrophe S. Like my page. You can scroll there for content, videos. You don't have all of that other crazy stuff, but you got like videos from my recipes and stuff. And it is strictly Sugar Pearls. Period. Poo. Okay. So go there like it and tell a friend like she's legit she's got her stuff together she's got business pages and instagrams and youtubes and TikToking and all that mm -hmm. tick tocking oh that is getting beautifully brown it is browning like flour if i seem surprised about the outcome of this is because i am i <laughs> i legit am like, I haven't done this with rice flour before, ever. So we're going to let this go until they kind of, I guess until they start to float, like you would most fritter things that you fry. So we'll see. Okay, I'm looking for, I'm trying to make sure I didn't miss y'all. I don't see the march. Do I need to go to the website? I signed up and said I was going. I'm going to go to the website. And just see. Because. Go to it. Causes. Okay, here we go. Confronting racial injustice. Y'all, this is crazy. In 2021. I, you know, I should no longer be surprised about, um, they're calling it, they're calling it in Florence, Alabama. I, and I, I read this today, a war on whites. Honey, did you hear what I said? <laughs> a war on whites is what they're calling it. Because people, people are peacefully protesting. A war on whites? Really? No, it's a war on your whiteness. It's a, a war on your insecurity. It's a war on you trying to continue to oppress me and silence me. That's the war. Like, nobody trying to take your whiteness? Honey. I just... Mm, when I tell you that cracked me the hell up, when I heard that today, I read it, my God, but I am going to go, I'm going to look for this and find it because I, I even dressed for the march, my little John Lennon, all we need is love, love, love is all we need, Woo! if we had a little more love, honey. A little more love. Um, it's just, and then Georgia, the the uh, I'm gonna call it what it is. The the sheriff wanna um, I guess he related to the little boy that got arrested because he don't wanna call it what it is. But I'm gonna call it what it is. Um, oh God, that looks good. Um, it was a a racially motivated killing there, there was no sex addiction kid what so so you just go around killing people at the massage no you went there to target asian women that that's what it was and that sheriff had the nerve to get up there child and talking about oh he was having a really bad day like are you his lawyer too cousin and lawyer my god this is our world now this is our world we 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 thumb my noses at people you know um trying to do the right thing trying to march for justice trying to make sure that it not that they're not necessarily marching for themselves but they want to make sure that their kids have a better life that their kids have rights to peacefully um, make their mark in this world. And here you got 
people who feel like they're being attacked. Uh-oh. Oh, okay. Oh, it got a little bit stuck to my... Why is it... Honey, why is it stuck? Look at that. Ain't the balls pretty? They're cute. They are cute. I know. I know. Okay, let's just try to get them out. <laughs> so we can say it's them. I got to take my braces out. Though. Okay, there we go. So when I had it sitting in there waiting to go in the fire. Ow. Ow. Um, it just. Okay. Okay. They cute though. Can't tell me they're not. Let's hit it with some time. Real time on this one. Ooh, y'all, when I plate these tomorrow, they're gonna be so cute. Boo. I know the test is the taste. Let's see how they are. Okay, I'm gonna pop my braces out real quick. Uh-oh. Is that my alert telling me that Project Say Something has started? Okay, might be. All right, so let's get ready to eat. <laughs> I can't wait to try. They are so cute, y'all. And they're light. They're not heavy. Okay. Hot. Very hot. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to open it up so we see what it's like on the inside. Make sure I cooked it all the way through. Just because some, you know. Make sure. Oh, yeah. Oh. Okay. She did. I know. the. Yes, look at that. Look at the colors. Look at that. Mmm, 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 mmm. I should have made a sauce. Mmm, I'll make a sauce. Mmm, this is tasty. I could have even, I could have done a little more seasoning, but this is delicious. I I just need a sauce. I I don't need, but it'd be cute. Mmm. This isn't just a crunch. This isn't just a crunch. You heard that? <laughs> I know. I know. Cold water, I'm telling you. Ice cold every now. These fritters are the bomb. I could do these with some diced apples and make a little caramel syrup on the side. Top it with some powdered sugar. Mmm. Mmm. I got a piece of jackfruit meat. It is good. Mmm. Mmm. I can taste it because I'm not used to eating rice flour. I can taste the difference in it, but it's really good. It's just not a flavor profile I'm necessarily used to. But it's it's delicious. It cooked up yummy. Steamy, hot. Look at that. Look at that. Honey, okay. Mm. That crunch is so good. <laughs> I love it. It makes me happy. All right, y'all. I am going to find this March so I can be on and um, watch in solidarity with them. And if you get to do the same, please do. Project Say Something should be on in just a little bit if they haven't started now. Um, but... Um, I'll be there. Support them. 
Um, thanks for watching the show. Thanks for being here with me on Friday nights. You give me something to look forward to all week long, sugar. You do. Remember, I love you. And I hope you love me back. Bye.